Ladies and today we're going to hook up the Holomark Secura doorknob, guys. This is a digital um, style doorknob. It has digital codes. You'll be able to put your own code in there with that. You're allowed up to 50 passcodes. It is IP, I believe IPS4 or IPS5 waterproof or water resistant, so you should be there. It does have an emergency uh, power connector and passage codes, auto lock, auto typing pins, backup key codes, and backup keys. Everything's inside this box for this. Now, we're going to start popping this out. We're going to start showing you guys the pieces as we go to install this, of course. Uh, you do have, of course, all the screws and hardware right here in this bag that you're going to need to install this, of course. Uh, you do have some spare keys. Uh, you also have some other silver hardware for this if you need it. Uh, I'm not going to really show you guys the keys. Uh, we don't really need the inner striker plate because my striker plate already here is already brand new. Don't really need that as we go. What we do need is the doorknob. The doorknob, of course, has all the peak codes on the outside. This is the outside piece. It also has this little plug right here where you'll plug in your actual power bank to charge it up if you lose power. Opposite side, the inside, is where you'll put the batteries and you'll pop that off and you'll actually add four AAA batteries into that which is quite simple, quite easy for that. Now, of course, you'll have to unscrew these two screws that are holding this in. Just that simple right here. Just grab a regular screwdriver. You will need to unscrew these to release this piece. Of course, it may take a little bit. So I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to pop these out. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have it apart, guys, you're going to want to remember which directions and everything that you want to go in. Of course, we're going to grab the sliding mechanism right here all the way out. This mechanism, we're just going to slide into this door just like this. We're going to add two screws to hold that in. Guys, so that is all that we're going to have to do right there with those two screws. It's pretty simple with that. Literally, the two screws, you'll insert and connect up, and you'll be good to go. So, two screws like this. Guys, just like this, in there. Then add the second one, just like that. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have those two screws in, you're going to want to take the outside piece. Make sure the numbers are in the proper direction so you can actually read them. Take this cable. You're going to feed this cable through the black hole in the actual inner mechanical mechanism because it does need to go through and connect to the other door handle piece. Now, you'll just slide that in. Guys, once you're in there, you will see it. You'll see all the numbers, just like that. You're up to good. Now, you're going to grab the outer door handle, of course. This door handle is the other piece, the inner piece. You're going to take four AA batteries. You're going to insert four AA batteries into this because you do need those batteries. You may not need to connect it now, but hey, why not? Now, you're going to want to make sure you take this cabling and you feed the cabling through the actual middle until it comes out the actual top. Now, you're going to see this. It's going to come out just right here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see this. And now we're going to leave that right there. Now we're going to take this piece. We're going to feed that in. Now this is where it's going to become a little tricky. We need to screw this in just like this. Grab the screwdriver and connect up the doorknob just like that. Very simple, guys. But you got to make sure that it's lined up properly and that these screws are in the holes correctly, uh, which they are. Just they're rather long, of course. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna screw both of these screws in. I will be right, right back. Okay, now that we have that hooked up, guys, you're gonna wanna take this one cable, of course, and you're gonna need to connect this cable to right here. Uh, this will actually power us up. Now you will need to make sure it's in the right direction and connect it up. Now I just heard it pop and we are connected, of course. So we are golden. Now you guys see that the door handle is actually turning and so is the outside. But, hey, we got to put a cover over the batteries, correct? So let's grab this back piece. Let's slide this over just like that. But we need to make sure it's in the right position with that. Now, I don't like the position it was in, so we're going to go this direction and see if we can kind of fit it up a little better. There we go. We're going to grab this little black screw, guys. This little black screw is right here, and we're going to connect it up just like that. So once we're done, we will tighten this up. We're good to go. Now the door is now set. 
Of course, the inner piece is out here that's working, so we do have buttons working over here and all that other cool stuff. Now, if we shut the door, oh, but look what happened. So, it's not catching. Oh, but the doorknob's not working, so we just do this. Oh, but what's the code? There we go. Just like that, guys. Uh, remember the code. It does have an original passcode once it's in, and that is your code to be used. Now, there is a, other ways to set up the passcodes and change the passcodes. First, you would hit check. Then you would press in whatever your code is, then hit check again. Then you would press in the new code, and then check again. Just like that, guys. That simple, that easy. Now, remember, guys, uh, it may just, uh, you know, just like that. And now you're locked up, of course, and then we go. We're in and out. Guys, that is how to hook up the hollow mark uh, doorknob with passcode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great one.